Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All of the nice comments um, from my appearance on Martin Leedke's channel. And then we were both guests on Globebusters. And um, that was cool. Um, it's fun to be a guest. It is a grueling process uh, as far as just the length of the show. <laughs> I got a little tired at the end, but um, we introduced this concept of the mud flood. And um, as promised, when I was a guest on the show, I said that I would share a couple of things. And this is one of them. This is just evidence of the manipulation that they've done. Um, here, the, these buildings are in the capital of the nation state called Tatarstan in the Russian Federation. Um, they wanted independence. It wasn't granted to them. Um, but these are the people. And then I found um, the architecture there to be just simply fantastic and uh, just unbelievably beautiful and much like what you see in the depictions of the Tatarians. And so, indeed, I think that they are what's left of them um but it's like a magical disneyland disney world it's a small world after all experience so i've told you they have one part of it grounded and then the rest is not uh they use elevation they use a lot of metal up there the shapes matter um for the gathering i think that the spire and the uh, upward points and um, various elements of the shapes the windings of it i think matter but also if you see it, it has all these um all the uh, columns and i don't think that that many columns would be necessary to support that weight and they seem very specific well uh, i think the columns they remind me of something that it's kind of like a resonance, okay? So I think there is definitely a resonant frequency um, associated with it. And um, one of the commenters on the other video I did found that it comes up with uh, specific numbers, which I'll put on the screen, uh, um, of hertz. And, and one of them, I think, was C sharp. And um, so the, those tones are very uh, specific and they are found um, more than in just this video that you hear um, from the tones. And uh, oftentimes these buildings have an organ or some kind of a musical or some kind of a resonant instrument. Of, uh, so... It may be that they use that to activate the um, process. And they may also use it to end the process. And I think they did it in such of an elegant fashion. Thank <laughs> you. 
So these background noises, they're already in the video. It was so refined that they incorporated music and dance in the production of electricity and light. It must have been fabulous. It must have been spectacular. And it's been lost, and they are act. I'm not saying that they've destroyed it in the past. I'm not saying that they've tried to destroy it. They destroyed it, and they are destroying this stuff. They're destroying it right before our very eyes, and we need to stop them from doing that because what was lost does not seem inherently evil. It just seems like it would help society to have free electricity and the culture. Besides that, the lost art is an abomination. It's an abomination to destroy good art, holy art, uplifting art. Um, beneficial, beautiful artwork. And that's the architecture of these buildings. It is beautiful. Um, and then these, these port whole things they're they're not clocks i don't care how obsessive people are about time uh it's not necessary to have that many clocks it's just not so it's in it's uh phnom penh royal palace and silver pagoda and uh i know i i, I hesitate to put that out there uh i would say Based on what I've read, don't go there and don't try to investigate this. Just leave them alone, all right? But um, I found a picture where I think it was the very same one. Yes, this picture. Look at this. Is that just light reflecting off of it or is it producing light? It's rather interesting to me. So that makes two examples now, obviously, they could have put an electric light up there, you know, just so that skydivers don't uh, get the temple point right up betwixt the nethers or something. I don't know, because it's pretty low to, for planes to worry about. But I think they're producing electricity there, and it's just kind of just kind of hidden there in plain sight. <laughs> so, uh, and then just researching the town you know there it seems like they've had a traditionally a, a good understanding of electricity so um you know if you're like me like like a lot of people uh you think that everybody uh got electricity after you know, the united states and europe and, and everything and well i mean we're taught ridiculous things and i exaggerate and it's funny i think to but, like, we're practically taught that, you know, Benjamin Franklin invented lightning and Thomas Edison invented electricity. You know, like, burp, burp, it's just extra layers. Those men are great men. Well, um, I beg to differ, and I think that uh, a lot of people, a lot of other people understood a lot more about electricity, and still do, apparently, than I thought even was in the realm of possibilities. So, uh, like I said, they had a classical Cambodian dance stage in the pavilion, which is sometimes lit at night to commemorate festivals or anniversaries. So maybe it's not a completely lost art, and I would love to see that. And I'm sure it's beautiful. And uh, I hope the exposure that it's getting helps and doesn't hurt. Uh, because I, I think that, uh, you know, we have to respect their traditions and everything. That's why it exists, is because of the respect. Now, the Khmer Rouge went through, apparently, uh, according to the official narrative and destroyed everything. I don't know what to believe about that. I haven't researched it. But um, if the Khmer Rouge were so terrible, how, why is this there? I mean, I'm, I'm not saying they weren't terrible. I'm just fascinated by the fact that this, you know, we're not terrible, right? We, we have a sense of history and, you know... Well, the United States doesn't have history, right? Europe's the old country. I, I, I'm finding out differently now. I think some of these structures in Boston were perhaps uh, much, much 
older than than previously thought. Now we're still in Cambodia here. Um, I mean, look at that's beautiful inside there, peaceful. And there might be like an organ type instrument or something to get that thing going if that's the one. That may be somewhere else in the palace, but. Uh, so the additional research I did, I looked into the, a little bit more into that uh, Ursuline convent and uh, what a mess that was. And then this is the uh, Colosseum. It doesn't look that special to me, but it does look like it's from the Giants, I guess, and upon second look. It looked a little bit like a barn to me, like a little bit somewhat rudimentary. Why is this ceiling? It's curved there and it's flat there. Weird. This is supposed to be the inside of it, but it doesn't quite look like it. Those window sizes don't look right. It doesn't pass the smell test. Well, I guess that outer wall does. It's got a lot of iron, too. Um, there's the stereo vision view of it. There's a balloon. But this is the orrery, uh, the one that the Pope guy, um, Richard Pope, or whatever his name was, that remember his last name. I don't even remember his last name. It's Pope. I don't remember his other name, but the kind of quirky guy, and, and, and he had this, and it's a flat earth thing. I mean, it's, is it heliocentric? I don't know. The ball in, in the center, that may have been the earth. I don't know what they're getting at there, but, uh, because that, if if you look at the center and that's the the North Pole or or something, you know, it may make more sense if it's kind of like a flat Earth model. It's got the columns and it's got the dome and it's got the windows and the track and the dome and that type of stuff. So I, I just thought that was interesting. Um, there's talk that you know these things that were cl thought to be clock faces that I say I kept saying that and they're not clocks. I think they're not. Well, they may have been like electrical meters or kind of like astrolabe type things, you know, much more more than just a clock. People weren't that lame that they just needed to look at the time all the time, over and over again. But, uh, I mean, look at the furniture they made. It looks like technology in a way, you know, like, like it does something, you know, down there that, because you wouldn't have that ornament. Maybe there's a little bit of electrical usage with that. I don't know. You really don't know. Um, just think of what a future society would think if they find like a little tablet or something, you know. Um, you wouldn't think that good old UAPs using it to make this video. And when they found out what it is and what it's supposed to do, they probably wouldn't think that it would fail me like it did and I lose my recording. <laughs> But I'm not better. I try to make it better. Uh, when I have to redo something, I just try to make it better.